Hi, this is David Davis from virtualizationsoftware.com. I'm live here at VMworld Europe 2013 in Barcelona, and I'm honored to be here with Mr. Joshua Stanhos from Zerto. How you doing, Josh? Really good, thank you. Good, good. So how's the show been for you? It's been hard work, but yeah. amazing fun. The party last night was amazing as well, so big thank you to VMware for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Tayo Cruise was really good. Really? Yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So the booth here, I, I've come by a few times. It's always been packed out. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of customers, a lot of attendees, it looks like have been interested in Zerto. Why don't you tell me why? So really because it's the new way of doing disaster recovery in virtual environments. And there's many different solutions out there, but Zerto is the first solution to really take the old way of doing you know, storage-based replication moving it into the hypervisor and being completely software defined. Okay, okay, so it, it's a software solution, it's not hardware replication, right? No replication done at the hardware. What we're doing is we're just lifting that up between our virtual appliances and including all of the functionality that you would have in SRM as well. So we're just making it simple. So okay. you just simply select the VMs, you don't have to configure storage replication in one interface, integrate it into the VM environment in another, Everything is managed by Zerto, extremely simple. And that's why so many people have been coming here and we've been doing a lot of demos. Very nice, very nice. And I know you guys have won a number of awards, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So a couple of years ago we had the best of VMworld and that was when we first came to market. Okay. So it was really around our actual replication engine, which is you know important because it doesn't matter how many bells and whistles and management layers you add on the top, if your underlying replication engine isn't right, then it doesn't matter. So because our replication engine won best of show, everything we add on top is just making it better, more scalable, more enterprise. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I used to be an IT manager, and you know, at that time we were looking at hardware-based replication, and it was going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy the, the license keys for the SANS, and you had to have matching SANS on each side and everything. So uh, you know, how does Zerto change all that? I mean, I understand you were a customer. At I was, yeah. yeah. So, really, it's it's not just about you know the cost. Okay. Because there's also the complexity. Yeah. And not only being tied to the storage, but having to configure and manage the LUNs, and then place the right virtual machines on those LUNs, and have a storage team look after it, and then the VMware team are constantly provisioning new VMs or removing them, and they've got to rely on the storage team making sure those LUNs yeah. are replicated. And so, I mean, you know, whether you match the storage or not, it's not the issue. Yeah. It's just being able to put the ver the replication in the hands of the people creating and managing the VMs. Okay. And they can just click, have it replicated with the same enterprise functionality. It doesn't matter about the storage. Yeah. Yeah. So I know uh, vSphere or VMware offers vSphere replication, mm -hmm. and then they've got SRM. So why why is Zerto still such a valuable solution? Because, you know, VMware have got to offer a feature set for everything. Right. You know, right. otherwise, over the competition will catch up. So, VMware offer a feature set for everything. So, basically, Zerto is the same concept as the vSphere replication, but we're the enterprise scalable version. Okay. Because, you know, VMware themselves say it's designed for small environments. We take that, we do continuous replication, giving a recovery point objective of seconds, okay. and we make it scalable to environments with thousands of virtual machines. Okay. And I mean, to me, I've written about uh, you know selecting the best of breed you know, solution in the data center, and I think that's kind of what what you're saying there when you, when you say you know yeah VMware offers vSphere replication, but Zerto is really kind of the best of breed solution for yeah. disaster recovery replication. And. I love vSphere replication yeah. because it's built in. It means everybody can at least replicate some yeah. VMs. Yeah. And the great thing is, is if you're using vSphere replication, you're already quite, you know, you're used to just selecting the VM and having it replicated. Right. Which is great because right. that is how simple it should be. Yeah. You shouldn't have to go and configure the storage. So we're just taking that, we're making it more simple, okay. easier to scale, and you can protect hundreds of virtual machines with Zerto, continuous replication. With the vSphere application, I have some personal issues just when I think of it as an end user that it's not on a schedule, it's on a time slider. Ah, okay. And so if, for example, you have it on a 15 minute RPO mm -hmm. and the amount of change takes more than 15 minutes to replicate, then as a manager and I'm asked what time can you fail over everything to, as soon as you start scaling that, 
you're going to have each virtual machine at completely different timestamps. Okay. With Zerto, we have the concept of a virtual protection group, ah. which is a consistency grouping of virtual machines, which ensures you can bring them all online at the same point in time. Okay. So when you start scaling the number of VMs in an enterprise environment, that's why you need Zerto and a virtual protection group. With the vSphere application, if it's just a handful of VMs from a remote office, great. Interesting, okay. Well, I look forward to your demo. Um, if people have more questions or they want to try it out, what's the website? So it's just www.zerto.com. Okay.